over the past few months, there's been so much talk about how decision behaviors changing from online shopping to consumers being forced to try different brands. And while some of these changes are really obvious, we have been getting a lot of questions from clients specifically on the pricing front. So specifically things like, should we do pricing research now? How is price sensitivity changing? How is my category affected? You know, our pricing team has a lot to say on this topic. Uh, they've been at it for 40 years and we know what works and what doesn't work, both in normal times and in times of crisis. But we always like to back up our recommendations with data. So today I'm joined by Stefan and Krasi. Uh, they're gonna talk a little bit about a pricing rerun we did to answer some of these questions. Stefan and Krasi work really closely with consumer brands in EMEA and the US respectively. So Stefan, can you share a little bit about uh, what we did with this project? Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, you're totally right. I did receive a lot of the question, should we do a pricing study right now? Well, and our view is that you need to take a look at it from multiple angles, multiple data sources to come up with the final answer. And rerunning the pricing study, it's just another piece of information that we now can use in making the best decision forward for our clients. So what we did, we reran eight studies, uh, consumer good categories, uh, and then different countries, different brands, so to have a good spread. And we simply compared the results before COVID-19 and during. And when we are comparing the results, we focused on mainly two things. One, do consumers buy the same SKU pre-COVID versus now? So we did this by simply comparing the base cases, as we so say it. And secondly, are consumers more or less price sensitive? And we did this by comparing the price elasticities of the products of both brands. And by doing that, by doing both of that, we're getting a better feeling on how consumers may behave differently or not in both experiments. Okay, so that's what you guys set out to do. Crossy, what did you find out uh, in the US? Um, we found a few interesting things. Um, the three main areas, I would say, are the first one is uh, a shift towards mid or lower tier products. Um, and we think that this is attributable to the fact that um, those tiers tend to um, have uh, larger pack offerings. Um, and this is something that we've seen consistently. People do tend to look for larger pack uh, today versus before. The second thing that we found is um, that in research environments where you have full product availability on shelf, people do stick to their brands. So even if there is a, a slight shift within tiers, they do stay with their brand if that brand is available. And the third um, finding that we have is that people are really not so price sensitive today versus yesterday. Um, during, during COVID and before COVID, price sensitivities are pretty consistent across categories. And Stefan, were the results the same in Europe or did they differ? Yeah, it was very much the same. The, I think the biggest difference was that the big packaging was really standing out even more in Europe. In the base case, uh, they had pretty much more share for uh, that the bigger packages had more share and they become less elastic to price and the other way around. The smaller packages get less share and become more elastic. And, and that was the, mainly the case in the dairy category. Okay. So if we return to the, to the main question that we've been getting a lot now, should we conduct pricing research now? What would you advise to brands? So um, although the change in outcome was um, minimal, um, we can't just go ahead and say, yes, let's do this, or no, let's not do this. Um, what we need to still take into account is the industry that our clients work in, uh, the market that they're looking into, the retail environment in consideration. Uh, we do need to think carefully about the time frame um, that they're looking to make their decisions in. And also um, think about whether this is gonna be a more tactical decision or a more long-term decision. 
Um, so these are things that we need to keep thinking about um, as we would have been thinking about in a normal market. Yeah, I'm totally with you. So despite um, having another piece of information that perhaps leaned to say, yes, you can do pricing research right now, we'd rather say, hey, we have another piece of data that we can use in making a better decision for you, but let's keep in contact to make really the best decision because there are way more angles. One idea that came up with a client conversation, so to say, is that we are running multiple waves of pricing study so that you have the insights on the consumer behavior now, within three months, and within nine months. This way, you can make a tactical decision on a shorter notice right now, maybe for the next retail negotiations, and use the consolidated view of all the runs together to make a longer term decision. So I guess the key message is, just give us a ring and we will figure it out. Yeah. Thanks guys. Uh, if you're interested in more of these specific insights on the rerun, you can download the paper here. And online, you'll also get more pricing after the crisis tips, as well as other recommendations covering the entire marketing mix. Stay tuned for more in this decision behavior and disruption series.